DNA is structured like a ladder, which has been twisted to form a shape called a double helix. The sides of the ladder are made of long chains of alternating sugar, called deoxyribose, and phosphate, and the rungs of the ladder are made of nitrogenous bases. There are four possible bases, which are labelled as A, T, C, or G. Higher tier candidates must also learn the full name for each base. A for adenine, T for thymine, C for cytosine, and G for guanine. Everyone must learn that there are rules on how these base pairs pair up. A adenine always binds with T thymine, and C cytosine always binds with G guanine. This phosphate deoxyribose sugar and nitrogenous base unit is also known as a nucleotide. Nucleotides are the building blocks of DNA. Now the bases form a genetic code, which provide the instructions on the order in which the amino acid should join to form a protein. So a gene is a section of DNA which acts as a code for making a specific protein. The following is higher tier only. The triplet code refers to how three bases are needed to match to one specific amino acid. So, in the cytoplasm, when a protein is being made, as the code is being read in groups of three, a specific amino acid is matched to that group of three, and by the time the whole gene is read out, a long chain of amino acids is formed, which will fold eventually into a specific protein. Remember, a gene codes for a specific protein. This is a gross simplification of the process, but is all you need to know for the WJEC exam.